a cup of tea. No, no, a cup of tea. G'day and welcome back. So today we're looking at node structure in DaVinci Resolve and we're looking at our node tree involving contrast and saturation and which one goes where. So at the moment we have a very, very simple node tree here. Now I've kept it simple to keep it really easy for you guys to understand. But today we're looking at contrast and saturation and where this one goes and where this one goes in my opinion. What we can do is we'll just go through our little grade here. Now, again, this is really simple. This is not normally how I'd have my node tree, but we have our exposure and balance, which should be separate, but us being lazy. So it's just doing this contrast and our saturation. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to save a still of this grade. So Control Alt G, and that'll put it up into our gallery here. So in a gallery, we're just gonna call this contrast first. Now in our last node here, this has the exact same contrast as this node here. So let's turn this node off. Now in this node here, again, the exact same contrast, we're gonna turn it on. Now we're gonna go to our contrast first image, double click that, make a big screen or bigger screen. Now if we wipe across, we don't actually have any changes whatsoever. That is because it's not making a change whatsoever. It's exactly the same. So why does it matter where your contrast node and saturation node sit in the node tree? Why does it matter if contrast is last and saturation is first if they're doing the exact same thing? Well, I'll show you why I think it matters a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this contrast node off and we're gonna keep this one off, but we're gonna bring up our vector scope here. In our vector scope, paying close attention to this area here, if we turn on our contrast node, we are actually increasing saturation in our overall image. So off, on, we are actually enhancing that color. If we were to say, again, turning this off and then turning this one off, if we were doing this grade and we had saturation before our contrast and we added more saturation in because we felt like it was too desaturated, then we were to add in contrast, we are adding in more saturation on top of our saturation node. Now, it can be really easy to lose track of how much saturation you have in your image with the improper node setup. So that's why I believe you should always have contrast before saturation because you're actually adding in saturation in your contrast node. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could go back and take out that saturation. But again, that's just another step you're adding in to your color grading process. And when it comes to color grading, simple is better for me. Anyway, I hope that helps. And if it has, leave a comment below or leave a comment below anything else you'd like to see. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day.